Yeah, I want to give a little bit of, let's just call it theoretical experimental advice versus hardcore advice. I wish I could tell you that it was it's 100% factual, but I my opinion is it's very factual, but uh, it's not endorsed by the medical community. This is actually the Power Zapper My Plus. Uh, this is a basically it's not it's more than a zapper. I, I just don't want to even use that word zapper. Zapper is usually an inaccurate device that puts out a frequency, usually one or two frequencies. That's about it. This puts out 122 accurate frequencies all at 100% positive offset, which is a very important feature. Now, Holda Clark was a big advocate of positive offset, and she stated that positive offset will, uh, the positive charge, in other words, it's only going positive this side, the, the black wire, or sometimes it's a green wire, usually it's a green wire, is the ground, and the red wire, in this case three wires, because they have three copper plates, is the positive charge. Now, Holder Clark stated that the positive offset or the positive charge will actually charge up and work as an electron donor for your white blood cells and help them fight disease. That's her claims, not my claims. But um, looking at it, actually, I'll state this. I even looked at what Dr. Jerry Tennant put out about his and some of his devices and some of his uh, work. He talked about. Um, alkaline and acidic and he talked about you know the body cells are about a half a volt negative charge which is slightly alkaline and electricity one way or the other whether it's positive or negative is actually the same as saying um, alkaline and acidic as a matter of fact your cancer cells and your parasites are slightly acidic that they actually have a positive charge so when you're hitting with a positive electrical current, well, let's say theoretically, because I almost detest saying theoretically because I don't think it's that theoretical. I think it's factual, but it's not endorsed by the medical community. Uh, when you hit it with a positive charge, with a positive charge parasite, and you hit it with a positive charge, it shorts it out. So and similarly, when you have a negative something that's negatively charged or supposed to be negatively charged, it's actually working as an electron donor. That's why Holder Clark talked about it charges up your uh, immune system cells by zapping a lot, right? So now this is more than a zapper. It's actually a positive offset portable frequency machine with 122 accurate pre-programmed frequencies with, um, looks like, what is it, 16 modes, 14 modes, 16 modes. But anyway, um, 16 modes. But let me put it to you this way if I had a cancerous tumor which I don't but say I had a cancerous tumor what I would do you could also try this they said it works okay even with DC voltage with a battery switching the leads back and forth but what I would do not to say that you would do it or this is medical advice but what I would do is I would take the positive lead and have the positive voltage right over the cancerous tumor. Say this cancerous tumor is just above my knee on, on the base of my thigh here, right? Well, that's where I'd put it. And I'd have in my hand the ground. I'd hold the ground. So in other words, the electricity is flowing through my body, positive offset going into where, the, say, the alleged cancerous tumor is and coming out the ground over here by my hand where I'm holding this. Now this is wet. This there here is wet with tap water or saline solution just as this tiger print cloth is also wet with saline solution or tap water the theory is I have to say theory I hate to say theory because I think it's more than a theory but you're never gonna see this done in a hospital or in a medical profession but not maybe not net next year maybe 10 years from now maybe 50 years from now maybe a hundred years from now but what would happen is this the uh, what happens is, theoretically, is the positive electrical charge is hitting, say, that cancerous tumor. The cancerous tumor is positively charged. It's shorting it out. It's killing the cancerous cells, allegedly, theoretically, experimentally, research work. <laughs> I can't tell you if it freaking works or not, all right? I'm not allowed to, all right? But that's what I would do. And, you know... 
you can pretty much use any frequency. You know, it, it depends. Basically, the positive offset is very important. Now, you want to have the positive side where the tumor is. That's where you want to do it. Um, but let me say this: the more alleged, I don't know. If you look up, I'm not even say what they are. I mean, it's like 727, 728. Uh, I think 2280s. Another one, uh, 2008. But you can look them up on the Consolidated Annotated Frequency List, abbreviated CAFL, which are the cancerous alleged frequencies. And the, the list in this will tell you what they are. Now, I'm running uh, frequency 10,000. I think it's mode. I always like frequency 10,000. And it actually listed, it is listed as one of the cancerous frequencies, but... It's got so much it lists under 10,000. I like using this frequency a lot. So I usually use that a lot on this for, and it just cycles through 10,000 all the time. But that's how you would set it up. And the thing is, if you're using a lower frequency, uh, it can actually burn your skin. If it's like um, a little bit, I mean, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable, depends on where the tumor thing is, whatever the hell it is, you might want to use a higher frequency like 30,000, 10,000, you don't feel it. But that's what you would do. You'd actually put the positive side over the cancerous tumor. And then you would hold, you know, you can even use it on a foot plate or any place where it's attached to the body. So in other words, the positive flow of electricity and electrons are hitting that tumor directly. And, well, that's basically what it is. A positive offset according to Holy Clark. A positive offset according to Holy Clark clobbers the microbes and you know I know there's argument between is cancer a virus or is it a fungi I don't know you know I think it's actually both but let me put it to you this way it's just like cancer is just a, a catch-all name for maybe a lot of different things that are disrupting the normal reproduction of your cells but uh, whether it's whether it's a fungus or a virus or whatever or both um, you know, because maybe there's various types, if there are various types of cancers, let me put it to you this way, that um, the positive offset, allegedly, per Holder Clark, which I think she has a hell of a lot of meticulous research and she didn't know what the hell she's talking about, allegedly will clobber those type of parasites that are the virus or the fungi that is cancerous, that's disrupting your cells. Poisoning your cells, causing them not to divide right, making them malignant, or whatever the hell is going on. But let me, I'm not going to put this out as ironclad, guaranteed, 100% advice. I'm not even telling you to buy this. I mean, say for instance you want to try this, and uh, this device is 389 You don't want to say that, spend that, pen spend that much. I don't know, they got the Para Zapper 6-pack for 109 uh, it's got 12, 14 frequencies in it or something. I forgot what it was. If it's 14 or 12, I think it's 14. And you could try that. You could try that. Um, I mean, usually that's what a technician takes. I don't know. A technician might charge 75 to 100 bucks to look at a chart for 15 minutes. <laughs> of course, you know. Of course, when you buy these devices, they're not medical devices. They're not reimbursed by your insurance. That's one of the problems. And actually, you hear that beep there. That beep means uh, it's cycled through that uh, 10 minutes and 21 seconds. So that's how I have it set to cycle through on 10,000 RPM, uh, 10, RPMs. 10,000 hertz. 10,000 hertz. So that's what I would do. In short, in other words, the positive goes against the tumor. And then you hold the other wire in your hand, which is the ground. And you apply the frequency. Um, you can try a bunch of different frequencies, you know, that are alleged to be on the consolidated frequency, consolidated annotated frequency list to be destroying cancer. But you know, if it's positive offset, according to Holder Clark, it should work no matter what the frequency is. So, just it's worth to me. I would do this. I would do this. I'm not. I'm not telling people what to do, but. You know, I research this stuff a lot, and it's like, you know, I sure as hell wish I can't. I can't make promises on anything, and I don't. I don't want to ever get people's hopes up, and I don't want people to spend a lot of money either trying something that might not work for them at all. But 
I, I, from all of my research on this and from my reading Holda Clark's books and her works and her thoroughly, thoroughly documented cases, uh, you know, anybody calls her a quack, uh, forget it, no way, no way. She documented the hell out of everything. So I think even though she was a Ph.D. microbiologist and not a medical doctor per se, I don't think, uh, you know, she didn't know what the hell she's talking about. So, and you know, there is a relationship between positive electricity. Actually, when you have something that's positively charged, it's the same as the saying acidic. So positive, the positive shorts out the acidic, which is the cancerous, which is acidic or the malignant or the parasite. And that agrees with other doctors' works that are actually doctors and naturopaths wrapped into one. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I hate freaking getting anybody's hopes up on anything, but I want to put this information out there because it's not expensive to try. Uh, especially, say, if you got the Parasapper 6-pack and it's 109 and the device is not designed as a medical device. Uh, the government should freaking approve it as a medical device. I mean, they got billions of dollars. You know, we're in a health care crisis. Everything's costing so much money. But, you know, I guess that's the game, right? If it freaking saves a lot of money, we don't want it, right? Right? Is that how that works? Yeah, man. Tell me how the professional world works, right? But anyway, um, eh, like I said, this is what I would do. I would do. And... From my best research, it's my honest opinion that I think it's definitely worth a try. And this message has been approved by Putin the Cat. Right, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing under there? Trying to look for food? You're always looking for food. And of course, there goes Rocky. There you go, Rocky. And Goldie. Right? Just a camera on you, buddy. You don't know that, right? Anyway. So anyway, eat healthy, and um, hopefully cancer will stay at bay. So, cats, also I want to mention something here. Cats, you know, when they do that purring, that frequency actually heals them up. So there is something to it. Even nature has it, right? These guys, man, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're always going into something. See that? All three of them. Meow, 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 meow. Anyway. I know, it's just supposed to be a cancer possible update video but we got cats in it right anyway and just to remind you though again you know why cats purr that heals them that heals them up when you go Purr. he's gonna get pissed off these guys <laughs> he freaking bugs them sometimes anyway yeah what are you doing looking for coconut oil is that what you're doing hey man <laughs> freaking knuckleheads God. What are you guys doing, man? Huh? What are you guys doing? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? Looking for scrambled eggs? Huh? Coconut oil? What's back there, huh? Hmm? Huh? Meow? Hmm? Huh? You too, what are you doing? <laughs> Shit. Enough of that.